Hey everybody, welcome to After Buzz TV. Tonight we're talking Prison Break, Episode 5, Faisha. And live on the show tonight, we have the very talented actress, Marina Benedict, who plays A&W. Also on the show tonight, Michael takes up the art of improv, and Cyclops goes from one to none. Stick around. You're tuning in to the destination for TV superfan discussion, After Buzz TV. And now, let the buzz begin. Oh, amazing. <laughs> Beautiful. Yes. Is this a song you use to get amped up to kill people on the show? It is. Oh, good. <laughs> hey, everybody, welcome to After Buzz TV Prison Bake panel, here to talk Prison Break in order, of course, as always. And my name is Daniel Lingren, and you can follow <laughs> me at the Dan Lingren on Instagram and Twitter. And I'm MJ, and you can follow me on Instagram at MJ, that media girl. Girl, what are you? Marina Benedict, uh, playing A and W. You can follow me at My Spirit Dances. Hi guys, I'm uh, really nervous right now because oh I'm sitting next to A and W, and I'm trying not to say anything oh. that's going <laughs> to piss her off. Um, I think my name is Miss Candy Marie, and I think you can find me on Twitter at Miss Candy Marie, and uh, sorry on Instagram. I'm just so nervous, and then on Twitter <laughs> at Sweet Candy TV. Should we fan I'm, her off? Let's fan I'm her sorry, off or I'm something. Sorry, She's all nervous. Fan her off. Fan her off. I, I'm, I'm scared. I don't want to say anything at a place because <laughs> now I know where to find you. Let's <laughs> not. Don't mess with her. Look, well, come on, Candy. Oh, Jeez. She's such a badass, guys. She's such a we badass. We should all three of us should have smushed onto this side, had gave her her own side. I, you, that would have been a great idea, but got, you guys stick me next to Mrs. A and W. Well, well I can... can you stay as Marina tonight, or should we, or should we do some role playing where you turn into A and W, or should you stay as Marina? Um, I, I'll, I'll be Marina for now. Thank but, you, you know, so much. There are times. Just watch what you do. You know, there's <laughs> times. <laughs> well, I wanted to start off the show by asking you. Your character is a woman on a mission, woman and I a got a, syno a character synopsis from you offline, and it says a crazed villainess who is unconcerned about her physical well-being, but efficient in completing her deadly goals. Hmm. Did is that what they, when you went into the audition? Is that what it told, <laughs> they told you? They said this is what you're playing. Uh, yeah, I mean, it was something pretty close to that. Yeah, okay. it was, it's been pretty clear from the beginning who yeah. she is. She's, uh, she's a complex woman, but she's uh, single-minded. Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, you're <laughs> all about yourself. Well, it's all about the mission. Mm. It's all about the mission. Right. Getting it done. Right. All right, guys, let's get into the episode. Is this the first time Mike has improvised in his entire life? He says it. He says, uh, I'm in a place I don't want to be improvising. I feel that on this season, he does a lot of improvising. Mm, right? Versus right. the past seasons. I feel like he kind of winging it this season. <laughs> He's kind of winging it? Yeah. yeah. Kind of throwing it in, didn't do his homework <laughs> as much? What's the problem? We're just, we're just so used to being Michael, uh, you know, being the man with the plan. So it's so interesting to see him not knowing what to do and not knowing where to go. I think this is a very unfamiliar territory for him, and I think that's why he just doesn't have a plan. Yeah. What are you going to give some... <laughs> Give us, give us, give us the dish on Michael now, as as Marina. Yeah, I mean, I get, I, I get you. I feel like um, that's like that's the beauty of this season. I think you know is the departure from that. Right. And that's why I mean, I literally am like, I can't breathe each moment. You know that that's that they're sort of faced with the next precipice, especially in this episode. I mean, come on, you know. Yeah. It's like every single time you just think that he's done, but you know he's not done, but you just can't quite figure out how he's going to exactly. make it happen. Exactly. How, how is, is he, he going to make, make it happen? happen? Let me ask you this, Marina. Who's Poseidon? Because I know you know. Is it Jacob? Um, Poseidon is the man <laughs> I work for. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, she's, not, she's A and W now. Hold on, she's A and W now. <laughs> yeah. Um, Poseidon is, no, uh... That was me hoping that you give us some information for future episodes, because everybody yeah. watching wants to know who Poseidon is. No, I know. That is the question. Yeah. I know you I know. know the answer. I know. Yes. <laughs> we okay. know you know. We yeah. know you can't tell us, but we is decided it, to try. Is it Agent Kashida? Mmm. I don't think so. Mmm. I don't think it is. Well, those were two. Mm. Yeah, so. and, and, you, and, and your character A and W definitely talked to him on the phone tonight. Was it him? Yeah, you talked. It, it was. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh, I did. Yeah, I, I love that. Like, wasn't expecting a call from you so late. She's so irritated, right? She's just uh, all the time. Is that? Well, you just, tell us. Is like, she? It's so <laughs> funny because, like, even in the jail when I watched that scene back, I was like, she is just irritated that something mm -hmm. is in the way of her yeah. mission. You yeah. Know, right? It's like. Let me ask you guys this because I thought this was very interesting. Yeah. Um, Paul Kellerman's dead, right? That's what they say. 
But He's in good. in the credits, hold on. I know MJ. I know you think. But in, in the credits, his name is still there. The actor's name is still in the credits. And I've noticed that when other characters have died on the show, their name just goes off the credits right after they die. And Paul's name is still in the credits. It's still in the <laughs> opening credits when they say everyone's credits. Boom. Tell me about it. A and W slash Marina. Okay, research, <laughs> research. No, that's some deep so opera. You might be I don't right. have many deep <laughs> ones, so that's the one for tonight. <laughs> you, I used it too early. Up. I used it too early. Darn. <laughs> Darn. <laughs> Thanks, I Candy. Think he's dead. I think he's all right, I think he's Is alive now because of that. Really dead? See, I knew it. Really dead. They, see, oh, Marina just God. told us he's That's alive. That's what they want us to believe. <laughs> no one really ever dies. And they purposely <laughs> say it like five Never. times tonight, right? They say, "Oh, Paul Kellerman's dead." This this new guy, the agent, yeah, Kasi- Kashida. Kasi- Kashida. He says like five times, "Oh, Kellerman's dead." Kellerman's dead. In like one sentence, he said it five times. He's alive. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we'll see. We'll Marina, see. thoughts? We will see. We will we'll see. see. Maybe they faked his death. Well, okay, I gotta. That, I, I think he's alive. Dead, so. Okay, if it, if he is dead, do you not know he's alive, and your partner knows he's alive? Well, why would it, huh? Because like you see, he the one supposed to kill Kellerman, but then Kellerman told him. Van Gogh, your partner kills Kellerman. Yeah, supposedly he kills Kellerman. So you're asking her if 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 Van Gogh lied no, to her and actually yeah. let Kellerman live somehow? Yeah, and you don't know that he's alive yet. Because I was down chasing tea back. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. And, mm. Well, I mean, because if, right if, 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 if you think about it, <laughs> look though, at this. <laughs> in, in one of our last episodes, that was actually one of the things that we discussed. Mm. The the last comment that he made to Van Gogh, and it made Van Gogh think, and then the, the statement mm. that you made to him led me to believe that if he keeps, uh, you know, thinking, that maybe you might kill him. Mm, you mm. are very perceptive. You're into something I here. I am into something. <laughs> yeah. Because you don't trust anyone. Mm. And nobody is gonna stand in the way of your mission, not even him. That's true, that is true. I can, I can you can tell like it's something like y'all drifting apart. Yeah. Because he's stuck maybe on what Kellerman, bit, yeah. He's mm-hmm. stuck on what Kellerman's saying, so he's questioning everything, and you just irritated, like, why are you asking questions? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is the mission. We stick to the mission. Stick to the mm-hmm. mission. Yeah. Question for Candy and MJ: What is A and W's name? We learned it tonight. Very. They said it one time, and I heard it. Did, they do. They do say your real name, right? Do they say it in the uh, episode? Trisha says it to you. Trisha. Oh. If I can, well, if yes. I can. Okay, they do say it. Okay, Very good. perceptive. Yes. See who yes. I? Who me and Candy are perceptive tonight? <laughs> All right, now. Uh, so I'll get anyone. Uh, can, I believe I, it was. I think I think oh. I think I heard. Th- okay, go for it. Emily. Emily is correct. Mm, yes. Yes. Now, oh, more applause, yes. more applause. Um, I want to ask you about that though. Um, I think we're all wondering what happened at the bread and breakfast in Connecticut with you and Trish. Can, we, can, can, can we have any in details? What happened in Connecticut? Okay. <laughs> follow, follow up question. <laughs> I'm quoting A and W here. Good answer. <laughs> <laughs> you said it would have been one hell of a weekend in Connecticut. What did you mean by that? What you think she meant? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> all right, these are jokes that I'm you trying to pull off. All right, guys, I'm trying to have fun with it. Dan I know what they meant by sometimes. it. I didn't know. It they've, was a joke. they've come up with creepy hashtags for Dan. Don't act like you forgot. And he he likes to push this sexual agenda from time to time. I don't know why. I, why, I just asked what happened Because the show in is is definitely based on action. Um, not that kind of action, Dan. I but, didn't say it. That was, see, now you're putting words in my but mouth. But you know what? I think what he's trying to ask you is, uh, <laughs> no, <laughs> just to kind of veer off to another This is subject. not going to be what I was asking, but go for it, Candy. You're, you've been tasked to kill Keneal Aldis, okay? Mm-hmm. So, first of all, you're kind of using Trisha. You know, you're kind of kind of teasing her just a little bit yep. into doing what you want her to do. And then Trisha, she pulls the cord and she says, no, you're not going to use me for your agenda. Because now, how is it possible that ISIL has showed up to where they are, so she's on to you. Mm-hmm. So with that being said, you're not, you've lost that resource. How do you expect to get Khalil out of us now? Well, what is A&W thinking? Yeah, I mean, a and is a very resourceful mm-hmm. person. <clears throat> um, <laughs> but it is interesting that she will, yeah, I mean, she will, she'll utilize by any means necessary, right? right? I mean, it's, it's pretty wicked, right, to go to an ex-lover, you know, manipulate your way into a situation mm-hmm. and then completely subvert what's actually supposed to be happening. So, I mean, in some ways it's like 
it, it's great. That's what was so fun about reading each one of the scripts when they came out was like, clearly, you know, we can't win or the episode, the, the series ends. <laughs> you know what I mean? You're so ruining like, everything by telling <laughs> people that. <laughs> so, like, you know, how are we, how, what are all these, like, pathways that they're going to mm-hmm. take to find out? And that's why I think the fun of Blue Hawaii in this episode is so awesome. Right. I, I really love the writer of this particular episode. I just, I, I always know when it's his episode when I'm reading it before I look at e- even the credits yeah. because he's got a certain sense of humor and, mm. um, it, and I love that there's a little, just, wit, you know, sort right. of thrown in, um, obviously taking us to Graceland, you know. Right. Yeah, now I didn't know right. that, or I didn't, I personally didn't know that Elvis Presley was still alive living in Maine, so this is wow. huge, this wow. is, what a, <laughs> wow. my mind was deal. blown with that. It's a big deal, but I was a little nervous with, with Van Gogh and A&W stepping into this house, but I have to I say, wasn't, it's A&W. I'm, I'm nervous, Elvis I'm safe. nervous because I don't want them to take Elvis out, you know what I'm saying? Oh, that's like, right. oh I'm sorry. I'm like, why? I thought What's you, okay. Gonna? But not now to I mention, see. I'm pretty sure that this is a pretty badass Elvis. I'm pretty sure that Michael is not is not dealing with just a regular guy. Yeah. Like, if he's gonna deal with somebody, it's gonna be somebody, one, that's resourceful, okay? Yeah. Two, that can defend himself, and three, he's probably got booby, boogie traps all over his house. So he, he's he, probably, looks, he's, he, I he mean, looks pretty out of shape, though. But I mean, but, <laughs> but also, but he's smart. He could be he's, smart. He's gonna be smart. He's got the smart thing going. And I, I'm, I'm pretty sure, like, I'm like, okay, don't, don't, don't Are hurt we... this guy, because if you do, it may, you know, end up biting you in the that butt in the end, or. You know, are we supposed to know this stories. guy, or is this like a brand new character we've never seen a br- before? A I think it's brand new. I was brand trying to look. I was hoping it was going to be one of like the cast members from like the first seasons or something. Nah, this is a brand but, new. And I was trying to even with the character. voice, I was trying to like hear the southern old man, and I thought it was going to be the old guy from the first season that dies before they get out of jail. Well, I can't think of his name right now, but him. I thought it was going to mm-hmm. be him. Oh, oh, I know you're talking about. Oh, talking about no, but, he's dead. But, no, no, he's he's a. Oh yeah, he is dead. But he I mean, uh, he, came, he but but <laughs> I mean, gone. he did reprise his role in a flashback, I believe, in this season. Mm. So I was hoping they were going to use him again somehow. Yeah. yeah. Or maybe he again. Who knows who's dead or alive? Maybe he never died like everybody else. Like <laughs> Kellerman is still running around out there doing something. But what what we have not mentioned though, which is something mm. that I think we should just backtrack on just really quickly, is a statement that you made at the beginning of the episode. Mm. You said Poseidon got you out first. Mm. I thought I was his favorite. Mm. So again, that's another. Yeah, what's that that's about? That's another yeah. jab at Van Gogh and his character and the relationship that you have, and maybe even the relationship that you have with Poseidon. Mm. Yeah, no, it's uh, it's actually really interesting. It, at one time in the script, there was also mention of our ears in that moment, mm-hmm. and um, and it didn't make it into the, the the final episode. But it was a little bit of like. Uh, um, an explanation of why we're sort of maimed, you know, uh, in the sense that like uh, those that's our sort of offering of allegiance to Poseidon, mm. is that we're willing to like sacrifice a part of our body well, where like, does to show this our allegiance loyalty. Come from though, you know why? Well, a little you learn a little bit when um, <laughs> today when we're like outside of the um, the State Department and uh, we're doing the walk and talk, yeah. and uh, she says, "Look, you know, I w- I spent ten years yes. in, in NSA, yeah, in NSA, uh, in okay. T-Mine in the Sky. I saw some really heinous stuff, the most heinous stuff you can imagine, right? right? And now and and decided like Poseidon you out of there, or gave whatever, me an yeah. opportunity to do something about it. So that's the piece that's like. Um, you know what? Obviously, what I use as the actor for A and W is that she believes in what she's doing. Mm-hmm. You know, I mean, right? But whether right or wrong, it she, almost made it sound like he was plucking out of there to do good in the world because you saw so many bad things. But now it's like you're almost doing bad things. So it's like, oh my goodness, where are we going from here? Yeah, but if if you think about it, if I believe that Kanyel Outis, that Michael is Schofield a bad is guy, Kanyel then you're Outis, doing the right yeah. thing, right? I am going towards my mission. And that's why you're so committed. Mm-hmm. Mm. Do you know what A and W stands for? Because I none of us do. <laughs> it's so funny. I actually even emailed the, the creator ask, today. I don't know what it is. I had asked a bunch of times, and I was sort of like, okay, everyone's just like, and then we're making up. We've made up so many different yeah. things. Um, but I haven't heard it from the horse's mouth yet, but I will mm. let you know if I discover it. As they, far he, as what he, Paul he, was thinking when he came He didn't give you any ex- uh, explanation for it at all? Yeah. No, not not like, I mean, we had a lot of jokes and a lot of fun, like on set with everybody sort of yeah. making up things. Oh, but making like, up. You oh, know, can you give us some fun ones? No, I'm, I can't even remember now. I guess if, like, I, if, we're, if I'm talking, I want all the dirty ones. Give me the dirty ones. There weren't dirty ones. <laughs> Damn it. a and is a root beer. Maybe that's what it is. It is a root beer. It's an excellent root beer. It's good, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. 
named after the two people that got together and made that restaurant. Actually, oh, they were wow. they were all over the place where we were shooting. So I was the like aid, aid. all over the place. Yeah. So I would were you guys shooting that in, Vanco in Vancouver? Where yeah. were you guys at? Vancouver. Yeah. 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 Yep. And they were all up there. They're all up in there. You they took a picture on Instagram, did I hope? I did. I knew it. I didn't even look at your Instagram. I did. I stopped your Twitter. Well, that, it, I, I had to make sure. I had to, yeah. You have to do that. It was that. show prep. It's part of right. your job. Yeah. yeah. I yeah. did it before we booked you on the show. But, you know, once we booked you, yeah. I, I restocked. <clears throat> yeah. But, you know. Yes, and and you know, guys, <laughs> the great thing about all of what you're saying is that you know our fans caught wind of this great conversation on Twitter, oh, okay, and they're joining us here on the live chat. Oh, great! And uh, Ivan, which is someone that yes. always, 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 always just comments on all of these shows, and he's such a super fan of Prison Break. Um, he has the opportunity to ask you a question. He wants to know mm -hmm. how do you feel being the newest villain to go after Michael Schofield. Oh my gosh, it's like, it's an honor. I mean, you know, it's so good to be bad. It's so <laughs> good to be bad. There is a seven-year-old boy hiding inside of me that like... Really? Oh yes, that loves to like shoot guns and watch sure. things explode and chase <laughs> after people up ladders. Um, yeah, no, I mean, it's an absolute pleasure. I mean, and it also, you know, it's been really cool because the legacy of Prison Break is these like incredible, like bonded, familial, you know, loving, mm -hmm. like loyalty relationships. And then like the baddest of the bad, you know, and their villains, their villains right. are great, you know, so. And you're pretty bad. Thank you. You it, are pretty, you're pretty bad. To be working opposite um, Robert Nepper is like, come on now. Like, yeah, we we you know, really super uh, villain man. Si yes, um, <laughs> yeah, he was like named one of like the all time greatest TV villains. Oh. Uh, yeah, so that was pretty cool too for yeah. him. But you, you're right, you're getting up there. You're working. Hey, you your know, way up I'm in training. This is, <laughs> you, are, you are there. You are there. Oh, okay. oh my goodness. She is no seriously like definitely one of the most badass female villains on television right now. There you go. Thank you. Like, I mean, seriously. that is a, that's another thing too, is to get to be, you know, to do this as a woman. As like a there are woman. Not, there are not as many of these characters written. And an attractive written. woman. Thank you. You know, a, a, a very attractive woman. And the thing is, is that some people feel like you have to uh, lose that femininity and you have not lost that in your character. You kind of carry that femininity and that sexy badassness with you. Now, when you read the character, was there anything that you added or subtracted from what they originally created? Um, I think it's all, you know, you're always adding because you're, you know, you're filling out the life of mm -hmm. these words that are on a page, you know. I'm, I mean, what's so cool about that is that there's a million ways that it could be done, mm -hmm. you know. But, um, yeah, I mean, she she came quite easy in the sense of, like, I love, like, I, um, you know, come from a dance background. I love physical work. And so one of the coolest things about this character was that the first few episodes, we had some scene work, some stuff that didn't actually even... Um, make it all the way to the episodes. But there was a lot of physical stuff, a mm -hmm. lot of like the gun work and the chasing and the like, you know, the stuff in the um, cell phone store. I mean, so there was like this sort of like, she emerged physically almost, you know, before mm -hmm. there was a lot of scene stuff. Right. So that was kind of cool too, because I kind of found who she was in the way she stood and the way she walked and the mm. way she looked and the way she liked her stillness and things like that. Um, and then the rest of it just was sort of easy after that. Yeah. Really? yeah. So she was tight. doing this cool thing with her hand there. Do you see? I know, she had like I'm a tea so bag hand. We right call now. it the tea bag hand. <laughs> right? Anyone supposed to use their hands in a thing? Oh, yeah, see? There it is. I don't yeah. know what to do, guys. I don't she's, know what to do. It, I'm she's, a little too close. I'm she's, a little too close. She's tea bag and A and W combined for you right now. I don't want to piss her favorite. off. Yeah. I don't want to piss her off. I am obsessed with Theodore Bagwell. Yeah. You will forever be known as Theodore Bagwell to me. She won't call him tea bag anymore. I will she has not, a big crush. I won't. I won't. It's, it's not that I have a crush. I, I'm very, I'm into depth. Mm -hmm. And I think that's why I appreciate your character is because of the depth. Mm -hmm. Now, um, and, and I don't want to take over the interview, guys, so at any point in time... Okay, I got another you one. You guys in there? All right, MJ, you want to throw I one I do in? have one, one more question, oh, Go for it, Kate. What do I, I, I want to know, <laughs> you know, with the rest of the characters, you know, who was your fav favorite character as a super fan? of the show. Who, who do you enjoy watching and working with the most? I, I have to Robert throw, Nepper. I have to throw that one to Robert Nepper. Oh. Yeah, I do. I mean, you know, but my partner was also Steve Musakis. I mean, he was like, he was, he, we were down for it together. I mean, yeah. we, like, he is a fantastic actor mm -hmm. and that was also very cool. Um, but yeah, I mean, I just think like watching Robert is like literally a masterclass in acting. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's like, and, and that the amount of care and specificity in every scene that he approaches and how he approaches it, it's really, that was very cool. But I don't know. I mean, it was all, it was kind of a pleasure working with all of them. Sarah's incredible, you know? Yeah. Sarah's awesome. Um, we don't have scene work together, but we had physical things together, you know? But what a, I mean, what a lady. She is like, 
so wicked smart and like beautiful and you know like there's not a false bone in her body she's just like really yeah i mean everybody they were great to work with really. well let's get into that scene with you and sarah in the house when you run in there it's like in like the first or second yeah. episode uh how come you only shot jacob in the leg what's that about <laughs> yeah you working with jacob everyone you want, wants you to know you didn't want to kill jacob well <clears throat> yeah oh here we go you know i uh i don't know if i wanted the rap sheet you know it's like assault versus murder right is well, that, I mean, you've she's, killed enough people already. Yeah, she's lying. So that's a like BS response. I know. I'm like, of course it's a BS response. Something. You can't tell us the truth. Like, my aim was a little off that day. Oh, uh, <laughs> now, I don't believe that for really. one second, A&W. It wasn't really. Now, what the streets are saying is that... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you know what's going street, down on the, on the streets. the streets, guys, is that we think that Jacob Ness... Is Poseidon? Oh, a lot of I'm people. I'm not 100 percent sure. That's not for Poseidon. MJ. Everyone but MJ. I think he <laughs> has something to do with what y'all got going on, but I don't think he's quite Poseidon. Mm -hmm. But he's definitely involved. Yeah, and you're gonna kill See, Van Gogh by the end of the season, by the way, too. So, prediction central here. Wow, you're no, killing. You're absolutely, gonna, she's absolutely. gonna kill Van Gogh. He's and they done. said they said nice try, Marina. That's what I <laughs> 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 Do the fans have any more fun questions for her? Anything else is written for any other fun well, actually, questions? MJ had a question for Marina. Okay, go oh, for it. I was just going to ask, were you a fan of the past seasons of Prison Break mm. before you got the role? I was, first season, I did watch the first season, and then uh, when I came back to getting, when I when the show actually happened for me, I went back and watched some stuff. Yeah. Um, you know, because I wanted to be a part of the family of it and understand the right. characters and their history and what they went through. I didn't, I didn't, haven't watched it, like, faithfully the into all five all I'm not sure A&W should watch the whole thing. Yeah, but there, yeah, there is a certain amount of, like, you, know? you don't want to know too much, because I shouldn't know too much. Right. Mm. If that makes sense. Mm. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. you, know? you really think this is not Michael Scofield. <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> Let's get to uh, another question from them, maybe. Oh, absolutely, yeah? absolutely. That'd be fun. Um, do, do, do. Well, I was going to ask, oh, go uh, you it. know, just so that we can make sure that we get through the whole entire episode. Uh... I would have to say Amin El Gamal, also known as Cyclops, he's kind of sort of the bad guy in Yemen. And, mm -hmm. and Yemen, excuse me. Mm -hmm. um, so with that being said, uh, do 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 do. Do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> you have to answer with the the first word has to be do 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 do. do, 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 do Got it. Yes, that's my thinking sound. Um, do you feel that? Uh, you know, they could have done a better job of creating a better villain. Because right now, it kind of seems like Cyclops. First it was, you know, Abul, uh, Ramal. Um, do you feel that they could have done a better job creating more of a villain in Yemen? Because it seems like, of course, you guys are doing a great job in the United States. But mm -hmm. do you think they did a great job creating a villain in Yemen? I just, I just like him so much, mm -hmm. you know? Like, I think, I just find him so watchable. Mm. I think that's yes, why, like, and I kind of like that he's this, I don't know, this sort of... Flawed. Annoying. Yes. Yeah, yes. like, he, I, I kind of love that about him. It was actually, like, really sweet to finally get to meet him the other day, because I, yeah. he, first off, he's just like, it's so fun to meet other villains who are actually really nice people. I know. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Um, right. I think it's important for all the villains in Yemen to be flawed. I feel like if they was if they were like you, Michael would they wouldn't be able to get to the next part of their mission personally. I just think okay. they need to be flawed. Yeah. I like that they're flawed. Yeah. Abu Ramal died sweet, in two seconds. Yeah, there's just like a fun, like, strangeness to him that I, like, really like watching. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. and you met him he last is. week. He's nothing like that character, which is really cool. That I he's, know. Yeah. He's, wow. Like, yeah, just like this. You, however, sweet. you're. I'm, I'm looking at a and <laughs> I'm a little nervous. It's true. I can turn on a dime. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's that voice. Oh. I'll try to now, do with her. Ivan from our live chat, he wants to know. He says, uh, he says, A&W and Van Gogh really don't know Keneal Aldis as Michael Schofield? That's what he's asking. No, no, no. We do, we, we do believe that. Right. So that's right, what right, I mean right. is that, um, you know, up to this point in the show, A&W is in full, full, full thought that this is an international terrorist right. that she's after. Mm -hmm. So, you know, as far as, like, she is on a mission to sort of, I think, pay back for a lot of the things that she saw. These atrocities that she That's, saw when she was so in. So she thinks that she's doing the right thing. She thinks she's doing. You're the right You're making thing. us she's like A and W. Well, it's really funny because as people uh, like on the set would say things, you know, like, "Oh yeah, your character's so bad." So I really found myself getting defensive and being like, "She's not that bad. She's really not that bad. <laughs> she's, she's, she's not, not that bad. bad. So what she's is not that bad. Happen? You just don't understand her." What's gonna happen <laughs> when she finds out who the bad guy really is? Then because right now she's been brainwashed well, into thinking that. 
Kaneo Aldis is the bad guy when he's really not the bad guy. I don't know. She's gonna. She's gonna. <laughs> no, I already know. I I can give you the prediction if you want. She's gonna. She's not gonna die. She's gonna make it to the next season because they're making another season of Prison Break, even though she's not gonna admit that they're doing it. And she's gonna be on Michael's side. It's gonna be great. <laughs> I'll, I'll play it out. I gotta you know play it out. That would be amazing. Wouldn't that be fun? So see, now we all happen. like see. Thank, thank you for coming into the, you know, onto the panel tonight and telling us all this stuff so that we can now root for you right. in a weird way. Yeah, in a I weird know. way. <laughs> and, and speaking and speaking of Michael, um, what did you think about the end of this episode when it seemed as if Michael may or may not make it? You know, we saw that he was wounded. So mm-hmm. it, as Marina, you know, what what did you feel about the end of this episode when there was that that fight between him and Cyclops and he oh, got yeah. stabbed and oh, my poisoned. God. And oh my god. That, when he takes out his other eye, I mean, a moment of silence for that moment because I, it was so fun for me because I came here and I was watching you guys watch it. Yeah, for the first and, time. And right. I didn't watch the screen. I was just looking at your little faces <laughs> because I wanted to see you go, <gasps> because it's just epic. I mean, come on. It was, oh it was brutal gosh. too. It's very grotesque it's to have grotesque. someone get stabbed in the eye. You know, yes. but I kind of, I, I could tell that that other eye was going to go. I knew that other eye was not going to last. <laughs> yeah, I was like, really? Was I didn't eye. think that that's how it was going to Oh, my die. gosh. Yeah, oh. absolutely. I thought, actually, I actually thought Lincoln was going to take out that eye. I yeah. really did. Yeah. I did. But, I mean, as far as, like, the ending of the episode and the thing, I mean, the brotherly love thing. I mean, mm-hmm. it, it gets you every time. It does. I of mean, course. come on. When they hugged in that, when they first met each other, when they Their first bun finally is so came. strong. Yeah. Their bun is so strong. But you know what pissed me off, though? Oh, here we it's go. It's like, why in the world would they just a lot. I thought they were gonna split it up. Two take this truck, the other two I, take I this truck. I got it written right Why here. Why on I know. earth would they even do that? Oh, why on earth? Come, come on, guys. That? Why? They should have done two and two, is what I wrote down. Like, exactly. why wouldn't this go? In retrospect, go two. I know it all worked out. Why wouldn't you go two and two so you have another person there? And by the way, with those rocks, I thought Link was going to get, though. Link should get a fight scene. He needs one in but every episode. It, I mean, but the, the one thing I that I will I was going to be Linkin. But they're kind of been typical, though. But, but what I don't understand is is that, you know, what I what I do appreciate is the fact that, you know, Lincoln is stepping up more, and he's he's doing more of the thinking. But the, the one thing that he said and the other character said is, you know, Michael always, when it's him against the world, he always wins. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But for the first time... We actually saw, well, actually not the first time. We've actually saw it a few times. But this time it was really like, wow, like maybe Michael just, he's starting to lose it a little bit. Maybe Mm -hmm. he's starting to lose his touch. Maybe he really shouldn't be the one calling the shots anymore. Maybe Lincoln or maybe somebody else should really start to step up. Mm. I just think it's it's just so far out of control at this point. Is he losing it? Like like mentally, he's been in such a bad place mentally. He's been in this prison for what has been... Eight well, years, seven, eight years. I mean, he's now? been he's been doing it since he died. Exactly. So he's been in this prison. So you have to think when somebody's been in a hole and in, in a prison far away from home for so long, it starts to mess with your mentality mm-hmm. just a little bit, your psyche. Well, he was in a bunch of different prisons too yeah. before he got this one. I'm not sure how long he's been in. I this, think he was in this one three years. Yeah, three I or four believe. years or something like that. Yeah. But there were some been, other years where he was getting out everybody like been, pretty consistently. I'm just really years. starting to get worried just in about general, his psyche. Imagine just being mm-hmm. in a, being in prisons for eight years. Like how weird is that? Like and, and having to your whole time you have to think of how to get out of like a like a wall. Thing. Like you're talking with Jaw tonight, how he's like he couldn't believe it. he wanted to not see walls anymore. That's all Michael's seen is walls for the last eight years. So like yeah. seeing just desert. By the way, Jaw was a genius tonight. He had some great oh, yeah, ideas. Yeah, 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 yeah. Michael like, Jaw like stepped in as like the smart guy and like took care of all this he stuff. Did. It was really nice. We- Need the brains. That's why we need you to stay clean. Exactly. Yeah. And, and, they, and it's really starting to show why each character is needed. We saw why Thank Whip goodness. is needed. Whip, he always right on the right on the clutch. He's, sassy. he's definitely I like a whip his hand. Too. You know, like he's Sassier. very very smart thinking. The same thing with Jaw. Because at first I was like, okay, well, why do we need Jaw and why do we need Whip? But yeah. it's really starting to come together. Mm-hmm. So as Marina, you know, how do you feel about uh, the characters that are, you know, the supporting characters that we really don't get to see step up, but step up when need be. Oh, yeah. I mean, especially, I love the work of Augie. I just think he's, like, incredible. It was so interesting to watch him work as well. And I love the character that he's created. And I like the writing for that character, too. Mm -hmm. Like, he is the one who throws the, like, sort of what everyone's been thinking or the little irreverent, you know, comments back. I just love, I like that character. I like how it plays into the dynamic of all of them. Um, and that that actually has some interesting places to go. Mm-hmm. Really, <laughs> him and John are becoming much more round characters. Thank goodness, because in those first couple episodes when they're in jail, they had a couple lines, and I couldn't really get a good feel for them. But yeah. now yeah. we're really getting uh, a nice a nice feel. By the way, though, guys, what was up with the uh, anti? I didn't get the antifreeze thing. 
He said he was poisoned by antifreeze. I didn't yes. see that. Did so I not see that? Yeah, so I didn't see that first Taking a note either. or something? When the knife was sitting in the little pan thing, it was antifreeze. Was there any of these in that pan? That's why I was like, I thought little, it was a glass. I thought it was glass it, from yeah, the window. It, it was just, from yeah, the it rear was rear. just like, I think it was debris from the truck. I, I can't remember if it was glass or debris from the truck, but whatever it was, it had antifreeze in it. On it. And, and, and it went inside and him. Right. I think it, it yeah. fell off when they the dude shot the, Cyclops shot the truck up. I yeah. guess when it fell off. And he just grabbed because I noticed it was like blue kind of. Yeah. So, but I didn't catch it was anti. I didn't catch that. Yeah. He said from the engine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I thought he was just stabbed and hurting and running. Yeah, you know, me like, too. That's enough. But that's no, <laughs> he was stabbed and he got antifreeze. Like, okay, okay, double yeah. it up, double it up. <laughs> so, okay, so we've talked about the episode. Let's talk about Marina. You guys okay with mm. that? Let's talk about Marina. So, I've heard that you're quite the dancer and you're oh. quite the teacher as well. So, well, thank you. Uh, word on the street, and you know the streets are just talking a lot tonight, <laughs> is that you were a teacher at AMDA. I am. I am. I am. That you are. There. I am. Wow. Okay. Yeah. MJ, are you getting up so she can teach us to dance no, right no, now? Is no, that, no, 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 no. I thought she was getting up. Well, are we going to dance right Let's now? Let's all do it. <laughs> um, yeah. No, I've been there for 13 years. Wow. It's my other life. I'm. In, I'm. I'm very passionate about arts education. Mm-hmm. So I work at a college. I work with young people. I create programming. Um, run a high school program in the summer and a wow. college during the year. Dance, um, music, acting. We, we offer like all kinds of programs. But wow. yeah, and I've done a lot of teaching in the past, and now I mostly do program development and things like that. But it's definitely like my other passion. Did, did I read that awesome. you were like in like a pop group, like a singer in a pop yeah. group? Is that yeah. was that actually real? Wow. Real. Tell me about real. what was the name of the pop group? Five and Y. And where were they out of? We were out of Europe. Really. Europe, okay. Yeah, That's we were, yeah, we were uh, five and five N Y, like five, five New York. Five New York. Wow. Yeah, and we were, uh, you know, five kids from the states. Wow. Uh, and that we had this little like electro pop band in. Was Europe. this when you were like like in like how old were you when you did this? Ah, uh, you know, like late teens, early twenties. Oh, so teenager, you know, okay, like, okay. You know, um, but yeah, I did it for years and uh, lived in Europe and, man, you know, performed with people like Moby and. You know, God love Mobs. Love yeah, Mobs. Got it. We call them Mobs. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Can you? Do you, I don't know any of the. Can you? Can you sing us like a lyric from this one of the songs for oh, fun? Like maybe a chorus see, or something. It. Let's see. Some chorus lines from oh it. Oh my or? God! If I can remember anything. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's like let's the, take it. Way what was the? Back. What was like the biggest hit you guys had? What was the name of the song? Um, there must have been one big hit. Yeah, there were a few. There was like, right. open your eyes. Open your and, eyes. Uh, open our eyes to 5NY right now, Open Marina. your Here eyes <laughs> and just look down. You're not that far above the ground. And when you found you can't hold on. Hold on. <gasps> I, yes. I, I want to hold on now. I no. don't want to let go. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. That was awesome. I, had to bring it back. So you're literally a triple threat. <laughs> oh You can boy. act, you can dance, you can sing. What dance. else can um, you do? That's pretty much my entire skill set. Yeah, well, <laughs> what, 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 what makes you a quadruple threat? That's what we want to know. I don't wow. do taxes Are you a good cook? Well. Are you a good cook? I don't, Are do you, uh, I don't cook very well. I love that you, you brought taxes up. That's your first thing to bring up. I'm just like, I'm, I do taxes I don't, well. I'm not, a, I'm not an accountant. But I'm great, I'm great at life and everything that's about entertaining. So. About, yes, exactly. And there's now, your Now, our, our live chat is going crazy right now, and they've, they've got some really, really great questions before we get into predictions, right? Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. uh, Avery Cullens wants to know, uh, why are they going after Sarah and the fam if they believe that Keneal Aldis is Keneal Aldis and not Michael? Mm. Yeah, that's a really good, that's a really good question. You know, I think, at least for A and W's view of everything, I think everything mm-hmm. will become clear. Okay. But um, for her, she's just a woman who follows orders. You know what I mean? At this point, like, so I think um, that part of that and how they, how they, you know, clearly how they manipulate and utilize the people that Michael cares about in order to get to him mm-hmm. is, you know, sort of one of it's the premise of the show. Right. You know? right. So um, that no one is safe as long as he's not safe, you know. Wow. But that is weird though. If you don't think that he's Michael, why would you care about Sarah? Well, but he still cares about Sarah. Exactly. Can you, well, can you out us, is that what you're saying? He still cares about Sarah, so that's why you're going after Sarah? Right. All right. right. Okay. Hmm. All right. Hmm. Okay, so hmm. All right. predictions. Predictions. Woo! Predictions. Here we go. Here we go. And oh now, my goodness. Your After Buzz TV predictions. I feel like I gave a couple already. Yeah, we Saying that Van Gogh's yeah. dead. He's going to die. Paul Kellerman, still alive. So those are two fun predictions that I have. 
Um, MJ? I think Killerman, now the child, you gave us these, hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. <laughs> Now I think he's alive. I really didn't want him to die anyway, so I would be excited <laughs> if okay he with him being alive. alive. Um, I want to find more about if Jacob, like, what is the what's the tea on him? Like I want to know the tea. Mm-hmm. Is he good or is he bad? I really think he's bad. bad I really think he's bad. Don't I like think that, that whole jail setup was just a setup. Like it wasn't real. Mm. But I'm really yeah. hoping next week that I know they're gonna help Michael. I know they're gonna help Michael. He's not gonna die. Um, so I'm just trying to see how far Marina, they're gonna get. Blink, blink once if Jacob's bad. <laughs> we know he's Damn bad. It, she's not she blinking. gave us the. Food. You gotta blink sometimes. He's bad. He's the CIA bad. taught me not to blink. Oh, son. <laughs> jeez, that's CIA. So I just, I just want to see where, how far they're gonna get. I see that uh, on the for the episode next week, Sarah's gonna come. So I'm like, I'm really excited for them to be reunited. Yeah, so Sarah's going out to Yemen. Yes. Is Sucre joining her? Hmm. Is Sucre coming back? We'll see. By the way, they finally showed Sucre. If you guys noticed, they show me like a random flashback at the end of the episode. I'm like, okay, finally they showed Sucre. Hey, Sucre they show me the credits every there, episode. I'm sorry, but they never put him in A and W. Have you met? Have you met Sucre? I have. I have. So he comes back in the so next episode. He When's back. he coming back? If you met him, that mean he comes back. <laughs> of course. You know what? Here's a, here's a fan favorite. Will Sucre and A and W face off? Oh, that'd be fun. Ooh. That would be fun. That'd be fun. Yeah. I'm you, pretty sure that Sucre wait, would get slapped like a little girl. <laughs> <laughs> Sucre's a gentleman. He would never hurt A&W. He would never hurt a and Actually, I don't think he would even have the option to hurt a and She won't allow it. She won't allow it. Yeah. Oh, that's another prediction then. If Sarah's going out to Yemen, I think that you're going to see her about to get on the plane, and then you're going to see a hand, and it's going to be Amari, a.k.a. Sucre, and he's going to join her and go to Yemen as well. <laughs> you nice. like that prediction, Candy? You know what? Your predictions are always so interesting to me. <laughs> that doesn't, see, but that's like a, doesn't sound a like way. it's a good thing. Like, right. you're you know interesting. You, you know, we, it's like when my mother gets a Christmas gift, she goes, well, this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> Same, same idea. Yeah. Now, now, before we get ready, because we have three minutes left in the show, uh, uh, Miss Marina, do you have any predictions or any, um, any little secrets that you'd like to share with us? Yeah, tell us something Ooh, fun. Give us some like juice see. about the cast. We or something. won't tell anyone. No one's watching this right Nobody's now. Nobody's watching. No, um, I don't have anything to spill, but I can say okay. that I love impersonating other people. Re- oh, okay. Mm. Who's your favorite person cast member to impersonate? Teabag. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, masculine, feminine, you never know with you never know with AW. Mm. All right, guys, make sure you hold on tight to what she just gave you. <laughs> right. Because we have three episodes to figure it out. Who could you impersonate though? Oh man. You know what? That's you know, a that's a nice fun hint though. I, I feel like uh I, I feel <laughs> You feel you know, oh, I, have, right? I have two what do you predictions. Feel like? I have two predictions. That just gave me something. What if A and W is Poseidon? That could be fun. Or what if A and W? Here's your prediction. She's making them up right now. She acts like she's Sarah. <laughs> Maybe, what, what if she acts like she's Sarah? How would she do that? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, she's gonna act like somebody. Gosh, guys, I don't know. I'm excited. I'm, I'm <laughs> excited, excited to find pressure. out about Fat Elvis. I'm excited to find out about Fat Elvis. He's gonna be fun to talk. I, I Maybe A and W is Elvis. <laughs> God, how did you? How are you no. in the same scene with him like that? That's crazy, Tom. <laughs> <laughs> how do you do these things? A and W. A and W could stand for something crazy too, but we got to find that out. We got to mm-hmm. figure out A and W. We'll soon find out, guys. Hashtag in what you think A and W. Uh, live tweeting what you think A and W stands for. The people are saying what happens on Afterbus stays on Afterbus. Oh, so that's why you should tell us everything now. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we're running low on time. Do we have any last final predictions? Uh, Marina, give us predictions. <laughs> it's a little hard for me to do that. I know. We just, we just want you to tell us what really happens. You know what, guys? Uh, they'll just have to come and tune in and watch us I as well so. as Prison Break next week. Absolutely. All right, guys. Uh, I think we're going to wrap it up now. Thank you so much for watching us here at After Buzz TV. I want to thank our special guest, Marina Benedict, for being here. A&W, a.k.a. Emily. Uh, we learned a lot from her. Prison Break. My name is Daniel Lindgren. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at the Dan Lindgren. Also at Booyah Vision on YouTube. And I'm MJ. You can follow me on Instagram at MJ, that media girl, girl, what are you? 
Hey guys, I'm just happy that I made it through to the end of the show sitting next to A&W and I hope that she doesn't kill me after this. But my name oh is Miss Candy Marie and you can find me on Instagram at Miss Candy Marie and on Twitter at Sweet Kendoy TV. Hey, you guys, thank you for such a good time. Uh, Marina Benedict, thanks, you guys, for watching. Keep watching. Support A&W. Yes. Oh, my goodness, yes. You can find me at My Spirit Dances on Instagram and Twitter. Any new projects real quick? Uh, yeah, I have a couple independent films I did this year. Look out for those. All right. Um, and I have one very exciting thing, but I can't say it yet, so you have to just watch my oh. stuff. I know. I'm days away, so we'll see. All right, thanks, guys. Right. Prison Break, out. From executive producers Maria Menounos, Kevin Undergaro, Phil Svitek, and the entire AfterBuzz TV staff, we would like to thank you for listening to the AfterBuzz TV network. To watch or listen to other After shows and post comments or questions, be sure to visit AfterBuzzTV.com. I'm Sir Richard Wentworth, and this has been a presentation of AfterBuzz TV. Buzz you later. The views expressed herein are those of the hosts only and do not necessarily reflect the views of AfterBuzz TV or its owners or principals.